We've got breaking news coming in from West Bengal, where the horror at the Malda Medical College seems to be continuing. More infant deaths reported earlier today. Three infants died in the past 24 hours, and this news comes just a day after seven infants lost their lives at that hospital. According to authorities at the Malda Medical College, the infants were all less than 28 days old and were malnourished and had displayed respiratory problems. West Bengal has witnessed many infant deaths in the past, with a large proportion coming from Malda district. Manugya Loiwal joins us for more on the story. Manugya, uh, the, the, these deaths always seem to happen in, in, uh, in, in large numbers, in a short period of time, and each time malnutrition is blamed. What's happening? Well, it's the different state of affair of the health facilities in West Bengal that can be blamed upon because of the fact that the, the number of people, the number of infants who've died in 48 hours is now raising to 10. And with that, we also have a question for the government authorities here on why do they always blame it to the malnutrition factor in the area. The reality is that there is also a problem in the ser services that are being provided and also the fact that the kind of uh, basic amenities that are provided to the people who report there are very dismal. And perhaps that's the reason why we see such kind of incidents taking place over and over again. And Malta has a history of infant death, and not only in the recent uh, past, but in the past few years. Despite the hospital uh, level being upgraded to the Malta General Hospital and College, Nothing seems to be improving for the people who report there with the infants from far-flung areas. And there's, the situation is still dismal and very, very pathetic. Well, okay, many thanks for getting us uh, that update on this tragic story.